Hey, it's Linda. This is my stomach. And so is this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Sometimes it's round. Sometimes it's flat. Sometimes it's jiggly. Who the hell cares? I get so many comments from all of you saying things like, How do you eat so much and still have a flat stomach? How do you not bloat? I wish I could eat like you. I wish I could eat like this. I can't wear that. Blah, 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 blah. No, stop, pause. Now, take a step back and recognize that your body is unique and yours, and you need to love it no matter where you are in your health journey. Because this, is the only stomach you have. So I guess the question is, how did I get from this to this? Did I eat differently? Did I take specific foods out of my diet? Did I eat less calories or count my calories? No, 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 and no. Now I'm gonna get a bunch of you being like, I don't believe you. Blah, 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 blah. But actually, I didn't. I eat the exact same foods, just with a different mindset. But what I did change is I started to eat and move my body for health. And I focused actually on taking care of my body. And then over a long, 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 long time, my stomach just kind of changed. But you see, that wasn't the goal. And not everyone's body will do this. What is so crucial to remember is that health, self-care, and self-love comes first. And everything else is just not as important. I'm gonna be talking about my journey with self-care a lot more during the actual video, so sit back, grab a snack, and let's get into it. Hello day one. This week I took on Lily Sabri's Tone Stomach Challenge. For no particular reason, just because I love her. But it got me thinking, I hate this obsession we now have with like flat toned stomachs and like slim thick waists or whatever, I don't know, I just hate it. So I'm gonna be talking about how I learned to love my body in every form and my view on practicing self-love and how it improved my life in so many ways. First, I want to start off by saying that it's okay to admit that you don't necessarily love everything about your body. Accepting your body where it is right now is not easy, especially when we live in a time where we are so bombarded with beauty ideals and expectations that we can't help but compare ourselves to. Recognizing that your individuality is a beautiful thing and learning to love your body takes continuous effort. But life is about working on self-improvement, and with practice, I believe that self-love is achievable for everyone. It's time for breakfast, and you already know what's happening. Pancakes. For those of you who are new, welcome, and this right here is my obsession. I think you may have to see me eat it every day. I'm apologizing to all of you in advance. I highly recommend trying it out. It's good for your body, it's good for your taste buds, it's like a win-win situation. I think we just all need to take a moment and appreciate its beauty. Ooh, yes. Mmm, delicious. And then for a snack, we had some yams, a little too many yams. Thanks, I have two. I don't want three. For my afternoon workout with the fam jams, we did a workout called T25. Now, it's supposed to be for beginners, and let me tell you, it's not. It's basically 25 minutes nonstop cardio burn, and it burns. Holy fuck! Pardon my language, everyone. Again, I'm so sorry for the cursing, but it just had to be done. After my shower, I had some very hard dry baguette with jam. Almost broke my teeth, but it was okay. Then we munched on some Asian crab snacks, and if you're a real one, you'll know these are my go-to. And then I had a single pancake with peanut butter. I don't know why, I just did. Are you dead? And then dinner was being, and the recipe is now up on my channel. You should totally go check it out. And then we had some broccoli, lettuce, rice, meat. Mm. Not a big red meat type of girl, but I don't know, my mom made it, so we had to support my mom and eat it. And dessert, because treat yourself. I don't always have dessert every night because my body doesn't always crave it every night, but when it asks for ice cream, I'm gonna give it some ice cream. Comment down below what your favorite dessert is. Anyways, personally, my self-love journey began when I started to see my body for more than just something that's supposed to be visually appealing for others, and started seeing it as my life, my health, and what carries me through day to day. 
I put my worth in other things, like my intelligence, my kindness and drive and compassion and love for pancakes. And once I put more focus on other things in my life that I really should cherish more than my physical appearance, that's kind of where I began to build my confidence. Once I began to truly value my health, I began to actually take care of my body, nourish it with good foods, nourish my mind by not restricting. And over time, the way my stomach looked no longer mattered to me. So after my workout, I ate a bunch of popcorners while filming and then ran down the stairs to my mom's new batch of being and devoured some. And after, yup, we had more pancakes. I promise you guys, I will have some more variety in my future videos, just not today or for the next month, probably. So good. Self-care for me is about focusing on things that make you feel good about the body you have now. Eat foods because it fuels your mind and your body. Exercise because it helps you feel strong and energized. Buy clothes that make you feel good in the body you have. An important step is to actually trust your body and listen to it. Easier said than done, I know, but your body really does know more than you think. This week was kind of a being week. My mom literally made it every single day and I'm never gonna say no to being so. We had some roasted asparagus, eggs, rice, and salmon, ooh, along with my being. And this new feature, it's this like homemade rice noodle thing my mom makes with like sesame paste, soy sauce, topped with cilantro and scallions. It's actually seriously really good. I wish you guys could taste it. It's actually so good. So how did I actually lose my belly fat? I started doing what made my body feel good and happy instead of what I thought would make my body look good and make other people happy. I found a love for the gym and physical activity because I realized how much better my body felt. I realized that a life of dieting and restricting was not one that I wanted to live and it wasn't really worth having abs for. So I focused on my happiness and not my waist. Uh, I'm dead. Once you get to you oh my god, so good. What works for me is listening to my internal hunger cues. If you want ice cream, have the freaking ice cream, but also pay attention to how the ice cream makes you feel. Does it make you feel upset? Does it make you feel sluggish and lethargic? Does it make you feel happy and satisfied? I realized when I overate, I wouldn't feel good. And when I restricted, it would always lead to me binging. So I decided to start listening to my body's cravings and it really helped me become more in tune with my body. And for dinner, we really just had the usual. I'm telling you guys, the sesame noodles are really addictive. It may just look like a strange brown puddle, but mm. it's kind of like peanut butter. You just want to eat more and more of it. Anyways, that was the last thing I ate for day three. There must be something that as you can see, I always do a Lily Sabri workout in the morning. I really do believe that exercise should be enjoyable no matter what it is. And because Lily brings me so much joy, I'm gonna keep doing her workouts and letting her attack me with burpees until the day we grow our separate ways. That will be a very sad, sad day. While I prepared breakfast today, I had a peach because I was just starving to death. <laughs> Honestly, eating when you're hungry is so important. Don't be afraid to eat before a meal. If you're gonna have dinner in 30 minutes and you're hungry, eat something. Hunger exists for a reason. Listen to it and trust it. Although for me, self-care and listening to my body ultimately helped me lose weight, that's not always the case for everyone, and it's not the reason why you should take care of your body. Just because someone has a flat stomach or works out a lot or eats healthy food doesn't mean they're in good health, physically or mentally. So the only thing you can really do is focus on yourself and try not to compare your journey with anyone else's. For Din Din tonight, we had some Asian delicacies, some Asian potatoes, some sauteed mushrooms, some shrimps with peppers, and some more rice noodles. And for dessert, we demolished these chunks of peanut butter while watching Modern Family, one of the things I am best at. Then at 11 o'clock at night, I was like, I really need food right now. And because I didn't want to go to bed hungry, because that is honestly the worst feeling in the entire world, I had some vectors with peanut butter. And oh my god, if you haven't had peanut butter and cereal before, I highly recommend it. And then I proceeded to have more cereal, followed by some popcorners, and then my stomach was satisfied, and I went to bed full and happy. This looks like an ab day, but don't be fooled, it's actually an arm day. You guys already know, arm workouts are not my friend, they don't like me, and they basically make me cry, so we had fun this morning. <laughs> Yes. 
It's important to keep in mind, size does not determine someone's health or shows how they take care of their bodies. Weight is so individual, the way people store fat and gain muscle is so individual. So take a step back, recognize the individuality and beauty of your own body. Like, come on, it's crazy that you have a body that like literally is so different from any other body in the world. Don't compare, don't hate your body, and be appreciative of all the wonderful things it lets you do. Anyways, my body got hungry after my pancakes, so I had some apple and then made myself a wonderful yogurt bowl with extra granola and then munched on the best snack ever. Okay, watching this over again makes me nervous. I've done hard workouts, okay? But this one wiped me out. It looks like nothing, yeah? You're smiling and expecting to smash this workout and then bam, the high knees kick in. The lactic acid is now attacking my muscles. My lungs no longer hold air and then your legs just don't want you to stand up anymore but you keep going because you are a savage and then your hair, it gives up on you too. And then you just can't stand up anymore. And then that's that. <laughs> well, thank god that's over. Now we can enjoy this fabulous homemade red bean bean. I think my mom is kind of talented. Enjoy watching me demolish my dinner. At the end, maybe we'll be okay. I know that you come. And then we ended off the night with some crazy rich Asians, what I aspire to be. You guys already know, I make these banana muffins every single week once my bananas turn black because they are the freaking best things in the entire world. Don't be shy with the chocolate, guys. Never be shy with chocolate. Also, don't be shy with the peanut butter. Come on. It literally makes it five million thousand times better. This gives me life. Oh, so good. And then throughout the day, we probably snacked on three more muffins, some popcorners and peaches. And then I was like, you know, I just need a whole tub of popcorners. So that's what I did. And then I was feeling a kiwi. So we had a kiwi. And then I just wanted some vectors, but the vectors didn't want me. Okay. But I didn't give up and we had vectors anyways. And then we had another bowl for revenge. I need mostly. So don't test me. I don't want things to get messy. So yes, for dinner, we made some potatoes, some steak, which is not something we ever eat, so that was weird. We also had some cauliflower and a few bites of being, of course. And then I had a lot more potatoes because they're literally so addicting. Please try them. No oh, peanut butter left in this one. Anyways guys, now that we've arrived at the last day, I just wanted to say that at the end of the day, you don't owe anyone an explanation for what you do with your body. If you want a flat stomach, if you want to go on a diet, if you want to eat intuitively or have five donuts, do it. This is a journey. Our goals and mindsets and lifestyles change and our size and weight fluctuate. We are always changing and growing and learning. Don't be too rough on yourselves. So after my dog abandoned me, uh, to make myself feel better, I made myself a classic, a favorite, a comfort combo peanut butter and jelly. Ooh, yes, look at that peanut butter. As you can see, for lunch, we had some more being, we had some more banana muffins after, and a ton of peanut butter, and oh god, the chocolate chips. Crazy. And then I had a beautiful lint chocolate square with some more crabby snackies. Strange combinations today, but I am not complaining. 
all in all, self-care helped me learn to love my body. I think if a person decides to change their lifestyle or eating habits to make them feel better, we should support that decision, not shame them for wanting to be healthier and to be more confident. Everyone's body is also different, so comparing the way you look or eat or exercise with another person isn't always going to be what's best for your body. Do what feels right for you, and what feels right for me is eating a bunch of popcorners. It is my belief that a person has the right to do whatever they like with their own appearance, what they eat, how they move their body, and whatever shape, size, and weight they are. The important thing is that we learn to love and accept and value our bodies no matter what. I hope you guys understand now why I made this video. So yeah, I may have a flatter stomach than I did before, but that doesn't change the way I see myself, it doesn't change my worth, and it doesn't change who I am. If you have abs, awesome. If you don't have abs, you are equally as awesome. And honestly, I wish all of you the best on your own health journeys. Tell your bodies, that you love it right now. I love you, body. Thank you for getting me through all of those Lily Savvy workouts. I apologize for the pain. Treat your body, feed your body, and love your body. That concludes this video. I hope watching me eat pancakes for 20 minutes didn't bore you guys too much, <laughs> but I will see you guys all next time. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye. Holy shit. So good.